Welcome to Cooking with Trixie Ming. For those of you that know me, you know I can't cook at all. Uh, at all, I live on cheese because it's one of the few food groups that essentially just cooks itself. I am loving this. I ran out of cheese two days ago. I had a little breakdown, but then I remembered I can still, my grandma uh, taught me this brownie recipe and this is like the one thing I can do. And I have not done any stress baking, but I'm seeing a lot of you in the internet world stress baking, so I'm gonna give it a go. I've never used my oven. This'll be, oh, this'll be my oven's premiere. Uh, for those of you that are professional chefs, you'll notice I'm wearing my approved uh, chef wear hat. This is also my fancy chef wear apron. It's professional. It's actually, uh, you guys don't mind if I show you my, my bits, my junk. Do you mind? This is the apron I wear when I like to feel sexy because I like to feel sexy. Follow along or don't, I don't care. Uh, we're gonna start by washing our hands obsessively. You want your hands nice and sudsy. Mm -hmm. Clean. We've washed our hands, that's step one. Step two is everybody knows you need cooking wine. So we're gonna get some of that. Um, unfortunately, at the Minx household, there is no more cooking wine because the cooking wine done got drank. So we are down to cooking champagne. What am I gonna put this in? What do you think? This thing is gonna tip over the moment I turn around and I can only get this much champagne in. This thing is practically a bowl with a handle. So we're doing, we're using this and it matches my eyeshadow. So obviously this is in my outfit. We're gonna drink with that. For anybody that's getting married, they're gonna want you to register for these cause they're lies, 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 lies. Everybody knows if you're not being seen in public, you can drink champagne out of a mug and it tastes the freaking God stamp. Ooh, I got bad language. It, it tastes the same. Oh, we killed it. Oh my gosh, this is the last time I'm gonna be able to cook on this channel. Preheating the oven. Never done this, I've never used my oven, but I have been practicing turning it on and off. So I'm going to try to preheat it at 350, that's 350 degrees. Fahrenheit or Celsius, nobody knows. It doesn't matter. Just set something on fire and put, we're, that's what we're gonna work with. Okay. I did it everybody. The oven is now preheating. So take a drink, excellent job. Mm -hmm. This is not a normal stick of butter. This is a Costco size brick of butter. There's literally like eight butters in this butter. So I did some math and I have decided that half of this is a stick of butter. This is not to threaten you. This is just to show you cooking is freaking dangerous. So if any of y'all, was, if this corona thing transitions into a zombie situation, I'm not afraid to cut you. Start by stabbing the butter on your cutting board. Um, actually, we're not gonna use this cutting board. We're crazy, quarantine rules. We're using the dick board. Let's do just the tip, okay, here we go. Back in the olden days, before they had things like microwaves, they actually melted this um, just by putting it out in the sun. And it would take them a good two days to make brownies. How long do you put butter in the melt? I'm thinking five minutes, but I'm also thinking that's gonna burn the house down. So we're gonna take our dick board and just hug it. Cause remember, it's not about just cooking, it's about cooking with love. This is a measuring cup. We're gonna fill it with sugar. This could take forever. Oh, you're bad. This sugar's so bad. This sugar was going out after quarantine. Oh, nasty. You're so bad. Any of you have some pent up aggression? Just beat it out of the sugar. Nasty, dirty, dirty thing. Mm -mm. Oh, shit. Don't worry, the dog will eat it. It'll be fine. You know what? I should be nicer to it. So. Okay, so your sugar is empty and we do not have nearly enough. Our brownies are fucked. This is exhausting and I'm tired. I made melted butter, everybody. You want your knife close by in case of zombie Armageddon. You want your cooking wine close by for hydration. Mm. This is so much, so much math. How do you know when it's enough? How does anybody know how to cook? 
Ah! Oh no, something went very wrong. I'm killing it. Mm. Ah! You're gonna wanna build your strength in case of zombie Armageddon because baking ain't gonna get you through that. You're gonna need to fight. A lot of people have been baking. Uh oh. And they um, say it's very relaxing. Right now, I am, I gotta be honest, I'm stressed. If I wasn't videoing this and doing this live, I would have sat down right now and just taken a little breather for myself because this is not right. I don't understand how all y'all enjoy this. This is nuts. I don't know how long we've been filming, but I've already felt like I was gonna die like 20 different times now. This is all exhausting. You're supposed to do two tablespoons. However, I only have half tablespoons because again, I don't really cook. One. I did it. So we did that, we're done with that, that's done. Now we need two eggs. We're gonna break this egg. We're gonna break it down to its raw essence of salmonella. And then we're gonna beat the, I'm really trying to have better language for you guys, but it's extremely hard. We're gonna beat it with all the rage and pent up aggression, perhaps sexual tension. I mean, let's look at my apron again. Mm. Look at this six pack abs. Mm. My treasure trail, can you see it? Oh! I'm gonna wash our hands, which have surely been contaminated with salmonella at this point. We're gonna take this and we're gonna beat these eggs into submission. Here you go, beat, beat down, bad eggs. You're just trying to get through it. It's during a global pandemic. You're gonna wanna cook with rage. You're gonna get that spicy Cajun flavor in your brownies. You wanna rage it out. You know what? You guys aren't even eating this, so you shouldn't have to worry about any of this. I feel like Rachel Ray. Hello, welcome to my show. Freaking pumped. So this does not look anything like what it's supposed to look like. It should look brown. So we've made effed up brownie mixes. One, work. Oh, I'm killing it. Uh-oh. It's gonna take forever. I'll be dead before this even happens. I'll save yourself a lot of trouble if you just go get brownies from a professional. 12, which isn't me. So now we have a mess. Emerald, you better watch out, cause bam! I made a brownie, I made a brownie. This is a perfect time to drink with your cooking wine or champagne. Look at me, I'm Susie Homemaker today. Shush, oh my God, the oven is ready for us and I am not ready. I don't have this type of, the stress, the pressure. Oh, this is not smooth at all. This is extremely, these are some lumpy brownies. Oh! Oh my God, I did it. <laughs> Look. All right, well that didn't fix anything, but didn't make it worse. Keep beating the crap out of your brownies. You're gonna be tempted to lick it, but don't. Because if you do, you could die. This could kill you. So you're gonna wanna save a little bit of the brownie batter in case of zombie Armageddon, along with your cooking knife to uh, stab zombies. Now, there is a temptation to use lube while cooking to make sure that it is greased up. You are not gonna do that because while lube is great um, for other purposes, it does not work well for cooking and it tastes terrible. I want it even greasier because everything in New Orleans needs to be covered in grease. This is not how my grandma did it, just by the way. So we are not really honoring her memory here so much as, I don't wanna say desecrating it, but it is not, this is, I almost wanna fix this with my finger. I, I washed my hands twice, we're fine. Some of you may not be as familiar with these cooking techniques, and that's because they're not good ones. You use your brownie rage mix to then pour it in, and you just look at that batter, people! Delicious! Oh yeah, there is some stuff I definitely did not mix up in here. Why is there like freaking dog hair on this? There's dog hair everywhere, and I clean, and I bleach everything. It doesn't even make sense. I put these brownies in the oven for 30 minutes, and then eat them. And if they don't come out good, you are going to blame somebody else. You guys, thank you so much for watching this. I hope you had fun. If you didn't, just change the channel. Uh, if you learned something, please comment, like, love. Check out my new YouTube channel. If you did not learn anything, that's fine. But remember, Corona sucks. But the moment we switch to Zombie Armageddon, you wanna make sure you have your cooking utensils, all right? You guys are the best. I love you so much, and I'll let you know how these brownies and the chia pet turn out in a couple days.
拜。